Well, Wally here. No, it's not a baby. It's not a baby. Guys, this is the Hobart, Hobart swag from Outhouse. The Hobart 900, I think, is its proper term, guys. The canvas swag. Let's have a look at it. First of all, this is it rolled up without a mattress. It's quite small. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking to yourselves, Wally, that is not small. For a swag, it's quite small, okay? I'm gonna set this up. Let's have a look at it. Let's go through it together. This is a sort of first impressions, guys. I have had it for a while, uh, but I haven't had a really good detailed look at it. So this video is gonna be mostly interrupted by Bruno, I think. Guys, these big webbing straps, part of the swag, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna peg it out. If I can find my pegs. Bruno, did you steal my pegs? So, I'll tell you what drew me to this swag. I'll open it up while I'm talking. First thing, guys, we got a, when this is set up, it has a bathtub style. So it's gonna sit up like this, okay? So you have these, the, this overhanging flap at the front that you can either tie off or you can put pegs in or put a pole in there, guys. It has YKK zips. Are the YKK zips? No, just big <laughs> chunky zips. And this thing zips the whole way down, so you can flap it over like that. Okay, so it has a PVC bathtub, all right, and a poly cotton canvas type outer. Okay, and that bathtub you can see there, guys. This this is where this is where the uh, so this would be up like this. This is where the, uh, 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 the mattress would normally sit. Now, it didn't come with a mattress when I bought it, guys. And I bought this second hand, and I have to say, it is in very good condition. Uh, I'm not too concerned about a mattress at all, because I, I would prefer it to be a little bit smaller when I roll it. Okay, so, guys. Now, I have a swag already, guys. I have I have the, the, the Winchester Adventure roll and I tell you why I went for this uh, is I like the idea of having sort of a tarp included. So this you I, I'm gonna tie this off to a tree now and show you guys how this works. But this can this sits up off you. Bruno. Go on, you just sit, sit, sit. Very well over here. Sit. Sit. No, sit. Okay, go. See, they're all coming over now because I said sit. So I said sit so they think there's food. No way, you're soaking wet. Guys, it has this little foot thing here for putting your boots on and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna grab some rope and I'm gonna tie this off, okay? I like it, guys. It, you know, it, it sits up about this height, you know, so you can see 
it's raised up the sides like this these dogs are just going to be in on top of me this whole review aren't they now get away from the tree you leave that tree alone come on away let me grab some rope Guys, there's going to be nothing fancy here. A couple of half hitches. Get off it, Bruno, you big villager. Oh, could this be perfect? Could this be Brazilian? Okay, so, and this is, this is sort of the way it would go. So you'd sleep in it like this, guys, with this bit, you know, resting like this, lifted up, guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure you could prop the end of it up with sticks and stuff like that. Now you can do the front with sticks uh, or, or with the rope as well, guys. And this is me, Bruno, come on, away for a second. Bruno, you're not getting in. This is me completely just winging this, okay? Overall, guys, it's nice, it's nice, it's uh, it's quite heavy. Oh Jesus, Bruno. Get out of it, Bruno. No, he has a stick for me now. Guys, it's quite heavy, but it's not as heavy weight as, say, the Adventure Road. Good dog, good dog, you ready? Sit, sit, sit. It's not as heavy as the Adventure Road by Winchester, okay? So I am sure that if I, maybe even just change the direction on this rope, I could change that setup. Do you know what I mean? So uh, there, there's there's a lot to play with in this. There's a lot for me to figure out. But listen, ah, I see what's going on. I I need I need to I need to pull them in opposing directions instead of the two of them just going the one way, guys. But this is uh, this is cool. I'm looking forward to trying this out, and hopefully, 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 I'll get out in this at the weekend. Okay, so. I'm just gonna have a play with it here and I'll see if I can get a better configuration for you. Okay. Okay, so just after like maybe two minutes of messing about with it guys, I was able to set it up much better. Okay, so let's let's have a look. So it's just, I just have a little pole in on the back one here, uh, which is tied off and I have just changed the angle of this rope here. Okay, so let's open it up and see how it looks. Go away, away, man. So it it has like a it has a screen on the back here, uh, a mozzie net on the back, okay. And I'm I'm sure that if I when I open it, I probably can tighten this one here to lift this up even further off my face, okay. Okay. Let's see how this works now. Okay, you see what I mean guys, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, now I definitely, I definitely have some playing around to do with this, just like Wally to, you know, start a video without having looked at something before and figured it out, okay, but this is, this is the basics of it and this, this is how it will work, so when you're asleep, guys, it's like a tarp, okay, so it hangs over you, so it, it sticks out over you like that, now, I probably could do with pulling my rope away at a at a at a different angle, and it pr will probably bring this over. But uh, guys, it's it's quite cool. Now, I do recommend that if you are going to use this, guys, and you're expecting rain, that you use it with a tarp, okay? And that is because the way this thing operates is that this. This canvas is actually designed to sit on top of you, to sort of lie on top of your sleeping bag the way that a bivy bag would. You know, so it's, you know, it's just the same as, as you use it the same way as you would use a bivy bag. Guys, 
I like it. You know, it's it's one of these things that is going to enable me to get out more because it's handy to use and it's also something that I when I'm down here with the kids, I can put the kids into it. Do you know what I mean? And they can sleep in it a hundred percent and you're not worried about them, you know. No, it's just more enclosed. It's not a tent, but it's more enclosed, if that makes sense. But uh yeah, I'm really looking forward to testing it guys and letting you know what I think. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.